Hello, in this video we will see how to manage our main forward. By default we have three columns. So on this columns we can write our worker's name. For example worker one, worker two, worker three. And for each worker we can select his own or contractor labor. So worker one own labor and for each worker we can select skill. For example. Peter, worker to own labor, skill, mechanical technician, worker to own labor, skill, welder, and if we need to add more workers, we can click manage and power. So here you just write your worker name which you want to add, let's say worker 4, then select own labor or contractor, and select skill, batteries, and then if you want to hear to the last column, then just select Add to Last, then click Add. So worker 4 is added here. Worker XXX, Contractor, Skill. And if you want to add between the workers, you select Add before selection, and then from drop down list, choose where do you want to add this map over. So me map forward to add it before let's say worker 3 for example. Click add so it is added between worker 3. So also deleting man forward is very easy. So if you select delete from last column and then if you click delete so worker 4 will be deleted. Or you can delete selection. If you click delete selection then you can choose from drop down list which worker to be deleted. So let's say in this example we want to delete worker 3 and click delete. And uh, let's add another worker again, worker 4, own letter, mechanical technician, add, add, click add to last, add. It's very easy to use. And if you want to clear Reset all form, just click clear all. The warning message, all capacity planning will be deleted. You cannot undo, are you sure? Yes. So all workers are deleted. And we have our default three columns. Now we should define available hours. And before you do your daily planning, you should first define your manpower availability. For example, let's do the example on week number two. When you click for each worker, you see there is available hours and there is utilized hours. We should select available hours for each worker before we do our daily planning. So, for example, for each worker, we can select if it is if he is annual leave or other leave, or we can select available hours per day. So, utilized hours will be automatically filled once you assign task for each worker. Then these utilized hours will be automatically updated. So no need to type anything manually these areas. And this drop-down list, you see we have a drop-down list. So here if it is on labor or contractor, we have a drop-down list of skills. And we have a drop down list of these available house. So these drop downs you can modify. If you scroll to right, these drop downs you can modify here. If you type here, for example, available house 10, 12, drop down list will be updated and you can modify it according to your needs. And also, if you want to add more skills, you can just modify this list according to your needs. And these changes will be reflected there. For example, instead of Peter Welder, we can write something as just an extract of what. So if you go to here, no, you will see the skills. You see, you will see the changes. If you add more skills, you will see them on the last of the list. And here, you see now we can see 10 hours. So, the source of those drop down lists are here. You can add 
more skills you can delete and you can do changes according to your needs. Thank you for watching.